Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode number three. And as I said last episode, we are going to be tracing this train line and hopefully finding a quarry at the other end. What's my evidence for that? Well, you can't see because of the draw distance, but in there, they've got uh, on the rails two big mine carts, like the kind that was in the quarry in Russia, which you would have only seen if you've played the map yourself or seen another YouTuber's playthrough of it. I'm going to link a particularly good multiplayer playthrough of it down in the description for your guys' enjoyment. But basically that got me thinking, hmm, there's a really good chance that this might lead to such a place. And if it does then that's a huge thing for me, because that means... Oh, boy. Left or right? I'm going to take the bridge out of principle, I think. But I'll check that first, because I think that's a car. That'll be useful to have. And also upgrade exercise. But because I'll be able to hopefully find a pickaxe there, it's almost always... Oh, it's broken down. Well, there's at least some XP to be found. But, yeah. It'll be a great way to farm up some XP, get crafting upgraded, maybe even build my starter base out of metal. And if not that, then at least get uh, higher quality storage. So yeah, just all around, it'll be... You know what? I don't think I will pick a fight with that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah... Don't take fights with spitters or flamers this early on. It's never worth it. As I believe I've already proven in my two previous episodes when I died to them quite a lot. Yeah, let us go off into the day and seek that flighty temptress adventure. For those of you that didn't get it, that was a quote from uh, Dumbledore in, I believe, The Half-Blood Prince. Hashtag Harry Potter reference. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, that looks like it could be a uh, military camp there. Well, it's most definitely not a uh, mine operation. But depending on your point of view, oh dear, it could be even better. That is really good. And that is not so good. I do not have the skills or the HP or the weapon to take on three zombies at once and come out alive. Are they still following me? No. So from the looks of things, I am going to need to sneak up there, find a tactical place to put a bedroll, and then go in and hope for the best. I will put in one positive spin on that. If those are military tents, which I believe they are, then that means a military knife, which is way better, at least for uh, quick attacks and such, than this baseball bat. Though you watch, I'll get this baseball bat uh, upgraded, some barbed wire and everything. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, the army definitely has a presence here. And unless I'm much mistaken... Okay, into the water we go. Unless I'm much mistaken, this is near where I uh, died the first time, so I believe we might also be close to the APC. But man, yeah. After this recording, I am definitely going to drop the uh, minimum spawn number down to what it originally was. Because this, at least for now, is ridiculous. I might put it back up. Oh boy. Yeah, run. I might put it back up once we get ourselves well established with skills and weapons. But until then, it's just too much. Well, I don't see any reason not to put... Actually, you know what? Let's be a little bit poetical about this. Let's be a bridge troll. <laughs> Claimed. And also... Let's be mean. Let's hit him when he's down. When he's not looking. When he is unaware. And again. Well, oh, that's one metal. Oh, good. I was planning on coming after you next anyway. 
There's nine experience. No military stuff dropped, but hey. Okay, overkill. Always nice to have. And I am swiftly putting points into agriculture because, as I have mentioned before, the ability to feed myself is going to be of utmost importance here very quickly. Okay, looks like we got a crawler and two normal military dudes around these tents. Okay... Nothing. Oh, you're cute. Oh dear. I don't have any problem with you. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I did not see you. You utterly surprised. Oh dear. This could even be a problem. Ooh. Let's just take a quick look up here to make sure there's... Yeah... Might check that house out off camera just to see if we can find an axe, but I'm not seeing any sign of those uh, wind turbines, which is unfortunate. I really want to get my BC back, man. But we got to be careful about this. These guys will give us a lot of XP, but it's a risk reward thing, which means there is a proportionate risk. We got a lot of XP and better item drops. But these guys do more damage. Ooh, desert military bottoms. Never quite got why the uh, American kind of uh, military units got desert, I mean. We're not in a desert part of the U.S. Why do we have desert uniforms? Why can't we have, like, nice, deep, forest green ones that blend in better? Well, on the other hand... <laughs> It makes it harder to miss the zombies and the military tents, which I guess is a good thing, considering the fact that they have some really good loot. Okay, 27. No, we need to get into overkill. We need to start hitting harder, and we need to start doing that quick. I think also the next skill that might be good to upgrade is healing, because we're taking damage, and we really need to be able to recover. From well, that was a nice find. Okay. I could go for the beret look. I think I look good, don't you? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. I can already hear what you're thinking. Yes, I am a Legilimens. Pleased to meet you. Okay. Well, there's one victim. Oh, looks like I up... Uh, not upgraded. Alerted everybody else, too. Well, that's one down. That's two. Okay, let's run. The honorable and normal thing to do in Unturned would be to face him and just stab him, but hey, that's later game when we have a knife, and also when we've upgraded Overkill a little bit more, so until then, we're going to have to make do with kiting him. And anything? I'm guessing these guys would give us the same kind of uh, drops as you would get from the military zombies in Washington. Which, while it's not great loot... Oh, I see a magazine. Yep, Sabretooth. It's definitely going to be a huge step up from what I have. Ooh, that's useful for bullet crafting. Let's salvage this. And drop a stick. I can always cut down more trees. Rock explosives, on the other hand, are a little more rare. Wow, I kind of look a little weird right now, don't I? <laughs> well, this is, again, this is early game. Not going to look good. My skills are mostly not going to be good. Just in general, everything is not going to be good for me. Okay, yeah, let's get back in this nice, cool river. And da 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 boo. Okay, good. If he stays off the bridge, we might be able to raid that other military tent. If not, we're going to continue following the train line the other way. But I definitely like this, being able to stumble across a little uh, military encampment like this. And also, just the, uh, the novelty of being on a map that I 100% know absolutely nothing about. You know, even with Russia or Germany, I had at least, is that an actual, 
No, that's that's part of the map for a second there. I thought uh, I might have actually found a tank. Oh well. And we also want to beware of the goon. Oh me. Let's take a look. What was it? Oh dear. Yeah, the damage was pretty severe. At least I had enough experience to uh, get myself kind of back to the position I was in before I, t I died. But I really would have rather lived. Well, silver lining, right? They're, they're not uh, so close to my stuff that I can't go in and retrieve it. That was a nice find, wasn't it? That high cal military ammunition. Let's see, let's... No, don't drop that. Put it on. Okay. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Make bandage. Well, make uh, rags. We don't really have... Okay, put that and that in there. Let's just quickly grab up all of this stuff. Yeah, just like that. And we will very quickly be uh, on the road again. Ooh. Oh, no. Yep, missing space. Well, that'll be a useful thing if I need to distract some of the uh, zombies later on. There was something there, I know, but I really can't pause to look at it. And over the edge I go. Too bad I couldn't get that helmet, but, well, at this point it really wouldn't have done me much good anyway. Okay. Yeah. Enough is enough. Interesting place. Got some decent clothes. But it is time to leave. We are going to continue tracing. <gasps> Look at that. There's some metal rocks. As to whether or not that's actually where the train is going, I don't think so. That does not look near enough for the line, but hey. At least I know that if I follow the train tracks, I will come across so far a military location. I cannot die. And also, uh, at least three metal rocks. And some XP. <laughs> yeah. Exercise, I think, is going to be one of my most important things right now. Because I got a lot of ground to cover. This being an insane sized map. And also, I want to do it as quickly as possible. Yeah, I get the feeling that even after playing on this map for oof, what will hopefully be 30 episodes, but we all know how that goes. Season 1, I said it would probably last for 40 episodes, and we kind of switched maps around 15 because there was nothing really more I could do except do horde beacons and dangerous raids and kind of one-off half-baked things every episode, which really wouldn't have worked. Okay, I am serious. I think we are near to where I died. Because I know that there were these kind of bridges over. <gasps> Could that be it over there? Could that be the campsite I died at? Uh, the more I'm looking at it, the more I think not. I do believe that is just a single house, and I think there was, you know, legit campground. But I am not positive. Yeah, there's another train line that meets up with this. Oh, oh, there looks to be a train down there. Could be like a Scorpion 7 type location. Could just be construction stuff. No matter what's there at this phase of uh, the game, it will be welcome. Is that... Oh, that is so cool. I think that's an iceberg in there. Man, this map designer... Sorry to say I don't know his name. Is definitely like, wow. He's designed a really nice map. Nelson, put this in the official game. At least in the curated. <laughs> yeah, this isn't looking to be Scorpion 7 or anything. This is looking to be construction stuff. Which is fine, because I could use all the construction stuff I can get my hands on. Yep. <gasps> pickaxe. No room. I'll make room. Just watch me. That pickaxe. 
because if you'll remember those ore deposits, this pickaxe is extremely valuable. Standard, don't you even suggest I'm not taking the coin. That is a very useful piece of gear to have. Okay, anything else in here? Saw. Let's see. Yeah, oh, I forgot to hotkey these. Probably best to go ahead and do that. Key. There we go. My drive XP, I do indeed. Diving, no. Parkour, any of that. Dexterity, overkill. Sneaky, sneaky beaky. There we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. I am running down a country. Okay, I'm sorry. I can never resist loot. I'm going to go check the house over here. And also, no matter how slim the chance, I could have died around there. And it would definitely be a blessing to have that APC back. I miss it already. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's right. That wasn't a campground I initially saw. That was a small city. So, yeah. Wherever this house may be. Seem to have gotten lost already. It wouldn't be where I died. But it would have the potential, perhaps, for some fairly decent loot. No, it's not worth the trouble. Not worth the trouble. Oof. Speaking of which, next time I have some skills to spend, I need to get it into cardio so I can regen my uh, running. Or my... Uh, what, what, what would you call it? Endurance? Whatever, you, whatever bar. You guys all know what I'm talking about. The bottom yellow one. Yeah, it is kind of cool, though, to see these uh, train tracks. Oh, those are valuable. Those are really valuable ones. Going all across what it appears to be like the country right here. Like This map maker definitely gets an A for detail. And then we got roads and... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it just keeps splitting off in every direct. I see some... I see a gas station. That's a... Wait, is that... That's mining stuff, guys. I think we've hit the jackpot. See? See? Unless I am very much mistaken, this is going to be mining, because I definitely know that's like the auger thing. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I am going to be so happy if my random guess is proven right. And, yeah, that looks to be a mine up there. I'm a bit curious as to the uh, specifics of this, though. Like, I wonder if, uh, like, Nelson, if this guy kind of puts little notes around that will give you little hints about what was going on. That's genius, hooking this up to this like that. That would normally be used on a uh, train track. This guy, man... This guy really does have some neat little ways of uh, decorating his map. Noah, thank you. Wire, missing space. Of course I am. Let's put down the bedroll. Let's put down the planter. Let's turn these berries, all of them, into seeds and plant them. Because I'll be offline or camping around here for most of this. Okay, let's put this last one in with my agriculture the way it is. Hopefully, I'll begin to get uh, multiple ones out of this and I can start farming. But the one thing I definitely can't wait for, guys, is I believe it'll be coming out Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays is my horror series. Like, obviously, they're not going to be big horror games that I can do a 50 episode playthrough of will probably each only amount to maybe two or three hours of gameplay. Do note though that that is kind of oh, headlamp, an unproven guess of mine. I have no way of knowing exactly how long it'll take for each one. So yeah, it won't be a uh, one long continuous series as much as it will be a long series of continual horror maps. Each one, though, you know, obviously there's no shortage of them in the community. I could probably 
find enough to fuel 20 separate playthroughs without really trying all that hard. Metal scrap. Oh, take a baseball bat. Just call me Negan. Actually, don't. Please don't call me Negan. Especially because I don't have the uh, spikes of the barbed wire yet. Ha! Ha! Boom. That was a find, though. Headlamp, that'll definitely make doing night chores, even if it's only off-camera, a lot easier. Bricks. I can use that to craft a vaccine. Oh, dear. After all, I do have a can. Another pick. You know what? Let's drop this stuff. We're going to salvage this. Pick up the one that's in better shape. Pick that stuff back up. There we go. I'm assuming the mine entrance, if there is one, is over there. Don't ask me, it's just that little intuition about the uh, train tracks descending deep down in there. Okay, run again, run again. Let's see. Yep, our plumbing just kicked in, so you'll probably have heard a little gurgle or something. There we go. Well, guys... I'm going to just kind of take a quick look around. I'll probably use this pickaxe to chop down some trees for, yeah, probably an hour. I'll probably end this off with a one hour long tree slash resource gathering session. Not session. Session. And by the time we come back for episode number four, I will have made some fair progress and have had my skills upgraded. So, thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.